What's going on guys? Welcome back to HVAC Tool Review. Thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks for checking out the video. Today we've got a few things we're going to be talking about. We'll be announcing the giveaway from last week's video of the uh, Vito Pro Pack MC. So stick around for that. You're not going to want to miss it. We're also going to be giving away a couple other things in this video. So make sure you stick around, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. So today we're going to be talking about spin tools. We've got the spinning swedge and the spinning flare. So these spin tools have been around for a few years. I know a lot of guys really like them. Some guys hate them. Um, I'm kind of in the middle. I really like the swedge. I don't really use the flare too often. So um, we're actually going to go through in this video and we're going to test it out on a couple different tools. Um, we've got a 12 volt impact drill, an 18 volt drill, a 20 volt impact and a 20 volt drill. See how it performs. I know the manufacturers typically recommend using a drill with a rpm of, a, of at least 1800 rpm so um, a couple of those definitely don't meet that spec but um, i know it's not recommended to use for an impact but we're going to see if you could use it if you had to for myself i prefer to use the old school flaring block but i mean the swedge tool is great this is super quick super easy to set up um, just pick the pick the size that you need for whichever pipe you're working on and it's it's typically pretty quick for the most part if you are going to be using one of these make sure you have a good way to hold the pipe securely uh, if you're trying to hand hold it sometimes it can be a little difficult i'll show you that in the video and you'll want to have a good set of leather gloves if you're hand holding it because the pipe heats up pretty quickly so we'll go over all that stuff but as you can see this kit here is by rector seal and this one is size from quarter to seven eighths so i think i've got some seven eighths pipe and some uh, quarter inch pipe or half inch pipe here that we're gonna be testing these things out on today. So like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be trying it out with a couple different DeWalt's, the 20 volt brushless drill and impact, Milwaukee 12 volt impact, fuel drill, fuel 12 volt drill. The last one was a 18 volt drill, excuse me. So like I was saying, manufacturers recommend something that's at least 1800 RPMs. Um, I don't know the specs on all these, but I wanted to get a few different tools in there that we could try it out with. Like I was saying, that pipe can get a little hot sometimes, so I like to have a, some leather gloves. So let's try out, first we'll try out the uh, 7 8 swedge. So the least powerful out of all these is probably the 12 volt impact. So we'll give that a shot, see what she does. So as you can see, hopefully the camera is focusing on that there. We've got a nice little swedge joint. All right, next we'll be trying the uh, 12 volt drill. Got a new fresh piece here, see how it goes. As you can see, it doesn't really like that with the 12 volt drill. And there's some definite heat. You can see the discoloration of the pipe. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend running a uh, 12 volt drill. Let's see that the pipe does fit together. It's not nearly as uh, good looking of a swedge as the first one. So, all right, next up, we've got the 18 volt Milwaukee on a nice fresh battery. See what we got with it. See what we get with it. That's 
sucker is hot. I think that's the end of that drill. If you're wondering how to smoke a drill, these could be a good way to do it. This is the uh, sweat joint that we made with that 18 volt drill before it, before it gave, before it let the smoke out. Uh, it's not a great one. It doesn't look as good as the 12 volt impact. So take that for what it's worth. All right, well after that performance, let's see what the 20 volt DeWalt can do. is hot. Didn't make it far at all. Best one by far was the 12 volt Milwaukee impact, which is pretty crazy. I don't think they recommend using an impact at all. All right, some smaller pipes so you can do with the 20 volt impact. Pretty much same story, it does not like it. Twenty volt impact. No problem whatsoever. Twelve volt Milwaukee. See what we can do. Still doesn't like it. Let's try the twenty volt Dewalt. All right, just because, we'll try the 12 volt fuel impact again. Still seems to do the best out of all of them. Well, there you go, guys. There's the spinning swedge and flare kit. I didn't run any flares, because like I said earlier, I don't really love the flares that I've 
gotten with this. It could just be this kit. This is the only uh, spin kit that I've actually ran, but I would assume that they're all pretty fairly similar. I don't know if you were as surprised as I was with this little 12 volt Milwaukee. Um, if you want the part number off that, this is the serial catalog number is 2553-20. This thing is a little beast. Well, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I was gonna be giving away a couple things. So for this video, I'm gonna be giving away a 25 foot Milwaukee heavy duty tape and a Klein 11 in one. These are awesome tools. I keep them on my truck every day and hopefully they'll go to good use. So like, subscribe and drop a comment below and I'll select a random comment at the end of next week's video and I'll get these shipped out to you guys. All right guys, well, let's get to the first giveaway ever for the channel. I'm gonna give away this Vito Pro Pack MC, same bag that I use every day for my service bag. So let's give this thing away. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the YouTube, I'm gonna go ahead and get YouTube random comment selector up here. Go ahead and get this screen recorded and we'll get a winner drawn. So let's go ahead and enter in the URL here, paste it, make sure we got the filter duplicates out, 79 unique commenters and let's pick a winner. So let's see, the first winner of the channel is going to be <laughs> HVAC tool review myself. Awesome. Just kidding. Well, let's go ahead and select a new winner because that is not fair at all. Of course, I would pick myself somehow. Uh, here's a new winner. So the first winner of the channel is going to be Justin Guzman. I love the videos, been subscribed ever since he first started YouTube. Well, congratulations, Justin. I really appreciate your support and uh, send me your info. I'll put my email in the video description there. Shoot me an email with your information and I'll get this bag shipped off to you as soon as I can. I appreciate all your guys' support and hopefully we'll be doing a lot of giveaways here in the future. Thanks for checking it out.